Welcome to your 20-minute podcast with David Brower, brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash your 20-minute podcast. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Now, here's your host, David Brower. Thanks, Alan. This is David Brower with your 20-minute podcast. Our special guest today is Andrea Rosman, a virtual assistant expert from the state of Michigan. She's down to earth and engaging and an interactive speaker that will help you about or will help teach you about the virtual assistance world or virtual assistant world. I can't even speak today, Andrea. What's wrong with that? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I maybe it's the weather. I'm not oh sure. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Well, welcome uh, welcome from Michigan to Colorado. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, thank you so much, David. I am having a good day and Colorado, how fantastic is that? Yeah, it's I'm beautiful pretty, out there. I'm pretty blessed, that's for sure. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> so just what is a, some people know, I think most people don't, just what is a virtual assistant? You know, that's a really tough question now. Several years ago, that's an easy question. A virtual assistant is somebody who works for a business, but they do it remotely. And okay. the tasks can be anything. Nowadays, though, we have Siri and Alexa and you know, all the little gadgets, and they're being called virtual assistants. So we're getting a little confused, but originally it's, it's a real human being helping someone else out remotely. Nice. And so, so are Siri and Alexa competition to you, or just uh, by oh, no. definition they're competition to you? That just just due to the fact that they, they've sort of usurped the name. Gotcha. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, you know, I, no, I have, I have my dot and I love her and <laughs> I, I can't do it. I couldn't, I couldn't live without her now. <laughs> See, I told you you should have trademarked virtual assistant. You didn't listen to me. So, <laughs> so if I'm a small business and I am, uh, lots of small businesses, how can a virtual assistant as you, as you describe it, uh, help my business grow? Wow. It all depends on the business, but it's really about, for me personally, I want to take away all those little things that you shouldn't be doing. You're a business owner. You need to be concentrating on the big items. You do not need to be worrying about, oh, you have to send out that email. Oh, I should really do that Facebook post. Oh, I, I, I need to do some research on you know finding some new clients. None of that is what you should be doing. You have to do the big picture things. You should be engaging with your clients that you currently have and, you know, growing from there. All the little admin office knickknack stuff that just it bogs you down because you know you have to do it but you can't find the time to, those should all be pushed to a virtual assistant. Wow. I just I'm just fantasizing about doing that actually. That's <laughs> I never thought about that before. I did. Well, I take that back. I did. It was several years ago, and I hired a uh, uh, telephone secretary, for lack of a better term, answering service, sure. I guess, right? And right. Uh, so I did that for a while, and I just I didn't get enough calls to worry about it, so I quit doing it. But the way you describe it, it's uh, it's kind of interesting. It kind of piques my uh, kind of piques my interest a little bit, and it comes across all types of businesses, I would think. Um, absolutely, uh, me. Personally, I have helped so many different types of businesses, uh, musicians, lawyers, doctors, digital marketers, public speakers, you name it, everybody needs help. And, uh, you know, and, and it's little things. Sometimes maybe you just need, you, I always say, what if you could take an hour a day? What would you do with that hour? If you could give that hour of work away to somebody else, that's yeah. five hours a week that you could breathe and concentrate on something that you really, really want to be doing. I would be, uh, I would be walking my dog and riding my heart. That's great. Absolutely. <laughs> and, 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 and that's it too. You know, we don't, we don't really think about it. It's like, oh, I've got to give you this work so I can do other work. Why not just here? I want to give you this work so I can relax. And, and that's part of what my team is for. I don't want to do everything here. Right. <laughs> you do this so <laughs> I can concentrate on my life. Well, yeah. And ha I mean, at the end of the day, we all, a lot of us talk about having balance in our life, but so many of us don't just because of the circumstances that you're talking about. Absolutely. And, and I think virtual assistants really, really understand work-life balance. 
I work from home. Um, I, it's a very relaxing time for me. If I want to go out to lunch, I go out to lunch. If I yeah. want to take the day off, I can. If I'm going to sit here and work in my jammies, I'm here in my jammies. And so we really understand what other entrepreneurs are trying to achieve, and we want to get them there. Absolutely. And I do the same, which is kind of terrifying, uh, especially working in my jammies part. That's just not, it's just not right. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but as I long as same. you're not video conferencing, it's okay. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. So you've got a team of people that, that help you get this accomplished. I'm sure it's not something that you just do for everybody by yourself. Oh, I would be completely overwhelmed if I didn't have, I have three team members. They are fantastic and I, I couldn't do it without them. So um, a Chicago Bears fan. Oh, seriously? <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, we, everybody sorry, has to have the, uh, you I'm know. I'm sorry. We've been the, disconnected. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Somebody's so, got to love them. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Could be worse. Could be the Cleveland Browns. So it's all good. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been there, done that as far as corporate America, IT projects, healthcare. I mean, you've had a quite an extensive background in uh, in work and in previous lives. Um, so how did you go from all of that to creating Gal Friday? It was a happy accident. Really? Um, it, you know, when the economy took its big, big, big downturn 10, 11 years ago, that would I be lost 2008. my job. I remember 2000... losing my job on April 30th, <laughs> exactly. 2008. Yes. I, I lost mine just before Christmas. Um, my whole department was gone, and I I wasn't planning on all of this that I've been doing. I went, you know, what's well, the first thing you do? Well, I better get my resume together. Right. And I was applying and applying I hundreds of jobs. Um, and as I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, I wonder if I can help somebody online because maybe I can just keep my brain active. You know, I don't care what it is. Let me just do something. Yeah. yeah. And I found somebody that needed some help. It was nothing major, just like, you know, an hour a week. Okay. And then I found somebody else and I kept finding other people that needed help. And I thought, this can't be a business. This is not, this is not, people don't do this, right? Yeah, they, they, yeah. But they do. And it just grew from there. And wow. so 10 years later, here I am still doing it. <laughs> I love stories like that. And my experience yeah. was exactly 10 years, uh, 10 years ago too. And I work for myself from home. I'm a voice actor, voiceover coach, and I do podcasts because it's fun. And I, I learn right. things. I educate uh, people and help pay things forward and those kinds of things. So, wow, that is uh, that is really cool. So, And, you know, speaking of people coming to you, there's no such thing as a coincidence, you know? Well, uh, I don't think so. I, 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 maybe. You know, if there are some coincidences. <laughs> there are some accidents. There are some people that are running to me, and there are yeah. some people that stumble over me. <laughs> there you go. I like it. I like it. So yeah. you've been doing this 10 years. Right. That's a track record. Wow. Yeah. So how many businesses do you work with? Let me rephrase that. Do you work with businesses on a ongoing basis or a just come in, help me fix it basis? What do you, what do you do? All of the above. Okay. I have clients that I work with daily. Mm -hmm. I have clients that, uh, it, maybe it's a, a few times a month. I have clients that I don't hear from for an entire year. They just have yearly projects. I have clients that I haven't heard from in three years, but then they come back and say, Hey, I need this project done. And I'm good with all of it. You, that is great. We're here when you need us. Well, and the other nice that's thing the, about that for you and your team is it makes every day different. It's always different. Yeah. And that's probably one of the, the best perks of this is it is different. And working with so many different types of businesses, I learn so much and I get to meet so many different amazing people. So it's, it's really great. Well, that's cool. And, and, um, so let's see, I'm looking at your list of, you mentioned earlier, we help everyone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Artist, photographer, digital marketer, investment banker, business coach, doctor, lawyer, PhD, home electronic, baby product, business kit, ba 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 ba. That, <laughs> yeah. my friend, is a list. Health, medical support, content developer, communications, marketers, consultants, 
you have a vast array. So what do you find what do you find in dealing with this incredibly varied resource of businesses? What do you find constant or are there are there constant things that that carry over from one type of client to another? The constant is that everyone is overwhelmed and needs help but they just don't know how to ask for it. And really people it, it, it's hard because when by the time they get to us they're already overwhelmed. Yeah. And I'm trying to make sure people are getting to us before they get to that point. So you don't ever have to feel that chaos and tension because that's a terrible feeling. It is. Well, and sometimes if they're that overwhelmed, it might be that they don't know what they don't know about what they need. Exactly. Um, I've had clients come to me and they're just so flustered and everything's just so chaotic for them that they we can't help them. And that's a terrible thing, but they because they don't know what to do and right. how to give away work it it just it it's a struggle for them and i'm always come come back you know take take some time relax come back we'll we'll work through it we'll figure yeah. out and and you know and maybe it's just one thing what one thing can you give away yeah and it's hard to give away things when i well, first started i was all alone and now i that I, when i had to give work to a team member that was hard because it's my baby yeah. And I don't want you, don't you hurt my baby. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, at some what, level, we're all control freaks when it comes to our business. Absolutely. Right? Right. And, and you just don't want to give it to a stranger and say, okay, yeah. there you go. But you, once you do, and once they do a good job, you just, you, you take that deep breath and go, oh my gosh, why did I wait so long to do yeah. it? Well, what and a great idea. And then you can idea. let the rest of it go. Yeah, what a great idea just to start with one to build that credibility and and sure. trust and integrity and all of a sudden they go, "Oh, this does work. This is good. I like this. Uh, I have free time." I know, let's do some more of this. So, yep. some of the basics that you do, uh, you got a great website by the way. It just answers every question ima imaginable. So, Thank you. uh data entry, internet research, customer service, customer invoicing, audio and video transcription, podcast transcriptions. I'll send you this one after we're done. Uh, <laughs> meeting minutes, blogging, social media content, social media monitoring, personal assistant tasks, and a whole lot more. And then of course you have specialties as well. So there's really no stone unturned that that you can't uh, you can't help some some business, be it a solo entrepreneur or or a small business uh, of virtually any size, probably. I've worked with uh, a team of one <laughs> to a team of twenty. So yeah, it, it's it, it's really it's it's a little bit of everything. And I always tell people, pretty much the only thing I don't do, I don't do web design, but I can put you in touch with somebody that does. There you go. <laughs> I remember when I was uh, I was in radio a very long time ago, and and my, my friends used to te tease me. They would they would be looking for something or trying to find somebody that you know a web designer, whatever it was, that lawnmower doesn't make any difference. And they say, well, you know, call Dave. He's got a guy, right? Right? Because I I don't do squat. But I always have a guy <laughs> <laughs> or a gal, you know what I mean? Right. So that's cool when you can refer people and, and help them grow their business as well. Sure. Fascinating. So what's a normal day for you like, or is there such a thing? Uh, I like routine, which is crazy in this business because, you know, everything's always changing. But right. I, you know, I, I get up at a certain time, I, my son, I have a teenage son, so, you know, he's got to get up and go to school. So I get up, I make my coffee, I sit down and, you know, I do some work. I take a break. I do some, I, I like breaks during the day. Mentally, yeah. it's just good for me. If it means hopping on a bike or taking a stroll outside, whatever, right. just to, you know, even 15 minutes, just to clear your head, then jump back in. And it's really, um, a lot of people, ask, well, how do you help? How can you be working with, you know, three or four or five different clients at one time? The, the work just sort of, it, you mentally make a list and you go, okay, I can get this done in two hours. This is 30 minutes. And you just make a list and it gets done oh, during the day. Yeah. My prior work, I was in IT project management and that's chaos. That, oh there's gosh. no organization and it's, it's chaos. You're doing 20 projects, they're all due yesterday, go, 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 go. So I'm used to all of, I'm used to being thrown a ton of things all at once and, okay, go do it. 
So yeah. it, it's it's my normal. Um, most people would probably just freak out and say, "No way!" <laughs> but for me, for me, it's just a regular afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Well, that makes this that makes this job and being trying to figure out balance in your own life and have control of being able to organize your day. Man, that's got to be a calming influence on uh, everybody around you compared to the other chaos. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think so. Well, if your son lets you get him up in the morning, that's a, you know, that's a telltale. <laughs> it's a start. <laughs> if I can get him to school, I can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right. So if people want to learn more about you, obviously go to your-gal-friday.com. Uh, and folks, literally, uh, I would honestly believe that every question you pop you could have is probably on here. And, uh, and if not, it's easy to reach out to you, right? Absolutely. And um, for your listeners, if they put a forward slash Y2P on that, they will get to a page just for them and a nice little special deal for them. Well, how nice. How nice. So um, where would they put that when they email you or what? They do uh, your-gal-friday.com forward slash Y2P. I got you. I got you. Well, that's very cool. I'll be sure to cool. plug that along, as they say. Thank so, you. if somebody if somebody has a question, and and in your world and in mine, there's no such thing as a stupid question or a dumb question. Never. But sometimes people feel that way, and so if they have a sense that ah, she's not going to help me, I don't know. No, I'm no, I'm not going to call her. This is stupid. But for whatever reason they pick up the phone or drop you a note on your website and get a hold of you. How do you, how do you get that person engaged to, to establish um, some pretty quick credibility and, and trust to get them to open up to you? Um, ooh, that's sort of, that's a tough question. <laughs> you know, I'm really open and honest about the work I can and the work I can't do. I have told people I can't help you. Good. But I know somebody who can. I cannot do everything. I've, I've done a lot, but I will never tell a client, oh, sure, I can do that for you when I know I can't. Because that's, that's terrible. It, it's a struggle for me, and then I'm upset, and then I don't do good work, and right. then my, the client is upset. And I will never, I just, I can't do it. Integrity so it's always going to be. Integrity yes. is critical. Yes. I'd rather say no and have them walk away happy than say yes and have them walk away miserable and tell everybody else how <laughs> miserable they are. Right? Yeah. That word of mouth is just not a good thing. Right. That, well, I'm, that's awesome, man. I'm glad you've had a, a great 10 years and, and you are having great success and your team uh, is enjoying their work. Have, have you had the, te- the same team for a while? Um, I've had one person on the team for, oh my goodness. I, it's sort of a blur after a while. I'm sure. going to say six or seven years, but I, I could be wrong. Um, one is about a year and a half or two years now. And then the third one, I just hired her in December. Nice. Very and I've had nice. people come and go. So, Well, sure. Yeah, that's right. part of the deal. So, Well, congratulations sure. on growing such a great business and being help other businesses uh, uh, grow. Even if they don't know they need it, they really do need it, guaranteed. <laughs> they just need to find yes. out from from you that it's okay to let go of a little thing here or there, right? Absolutely. Okay. Hey, this has really been nice. Thanks. Uh, Andrea Rosman from Your Gal Friday, and it is your-gal-friday.com slash Y2P. And uh, you can get a hold of her and any of her assistants. And they are Elena, Lynn, and Frankie. Hey, Andrea, thanks so much. Really enjoyed the conversation. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thank you so much, David. You too. Your 20-minute podcast with David Brower has been brought to you by Audible. You can listen to any of David's podcasts anywhere podcasts can be found, including iHeartRadio, the Spotify mobile app, and at davidbrowervo.com slash your 20-minute podcast. Until next time, thanks for listening.